Hey guys, my name's Matea, and in this video, I'm going to talk about why you need to make sure that you don't cause keyword cannibalization when you're doing on-site SEO. So, in an attempt to optimize your website, it's actually very easy to overcapitalize and cause some problems. So one example of this is what's called keyword cannibalization. So keyword cannibalization is what happens when more than one page is targeting the same keyword, and this often happens inadvertently. And as a result, Google is not sure which page is more relevant for the particular keyword, and then in the end usually ends up ranking neither of them very well. So to give you an example of how this might happen, let's use the example of wills and will disputes. So if you have two separate pages, one is for wills and one is for will disputes, it's very easy to cause a conflict between these two and end up with some keyword cannibalization. The reason why is that the two keywords are actually very similar. Because for example, if you're trying to target Wills and let's say Will Lawyer with the Wills page, and you're trying to target Will Disputes Lawyer with the other page, you're going to have the word Will Lawyer on two pages, even though this one says Will Disputes. And now you may have a problem where these two actually start battling it out and Google can't quite tell which one's more relevant for the keyword Will Lawyer. And it either starts ranking the Will Disputes page, or they both sort of, sort of show up, but in the lower end results, and you end up not ranking very high at all for either one of them. So, it is definitely possible to target both keywords like this with the pages, but you need to be careful with it, and you need to make sure that you're not getting keyword cannibalization and what to do if it does occur. So, if you find that this may be happening, one way you can check if your site is actually suffering from keyword cannibalization is to check if the two pages are ranking for the same keywords. So it's very rare that Google will rank two pages from the same website for a keyword, but if it is, then that's usually a sign that there's conflict going on and it can't decide which one is more relevant. And usually what will happen is one of them will eventually drop off if you don't do anything about it, and a lot of the time both will actually drop off. So you need to be aware of this and make sure that you're just checking for it and optimizing accordingly. So this method won't always work because again, Google doesn't usually like to rank the two pages, but occasionally you may find that they both show up. And if they, they do, then this is a sign that there is a conflict there and you need to make one much more relevant for these keywords than the other one in order for this to work. So another thing that can indicate it is if only one page is ranking, but it's not actually the page you want to rank. So for example, if you were targeting a specific page about wills, but you find that your home page is actually ranking for the term for any keywords relating to wills, then there might be a sign that your home page has more relevance to the term wills than your will page, and you've caused a bit of keyword cannibalization there. So you may need to go in there and let's say, make the home page less relevant for those keywords. So how do you actually fix this? So one method you can use is to combine the two pages that are conflicting. And then what you do is you redirect both of the old pages to the one new big super page that you're making. And so by making this super page, it's going to be extremely relevant for a lot of the keywords relating to that topic. And since because they're conflicting, they're obviously very similar. So you just combine all of that content, make one big, you know, like I said, super page. And what that does is it makes it super relevant. And then you redirect the old two pages to that one new page. And then what happens is all of the relevance to the old pages gets redirected into the new page. So for example, all your old backlinks and so on, the relevance will be passed on to this new page. So another option is to just redirect one of these pages to the other one, whichever one you want to be the one ranking, you redirect the other one to that one and basically drop off the other one. So either of those two options will solve your problem and will help the new page to rank better than what was happening before with the two conflicting pages. Ideally, the super page is the, the one you should try and go with because it's going to help you just generally being such a, a big page with a lot of information. Google likes ranking that kind of thing. So in the future, when you're making new pages or optimizing your website, keep in mind that if the keywords are very, very similar, you can risk causing keyword cannibalization. And you want to just be aware of that and consider adding to a current page if the topic that you're trying to optimize for is very similar to a page that you've already got. And that should help prevent this from happening. So I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, just let me know.